it's Michelle, the Posh PA, here to answer the question, how many programs should I apply to when applying to PA school? Well, I have a little bit of a different opinion on this topic than some other people, but obviously it's gonna depend a little bit on applicant circumstance, location, et cetera, but I'm gonna give you my opinion on the number of PA programs you should apply to to be successful. Now, now if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I'm here every week dropping new videos, not only to help you get into PA school, but tips for students, practicing PAs, health and fitness, and more. Okay, so my personal opinion on how many programs you should apply to after helping hundreds of students gain acceptance into PA programs is the magic number is eight to 10. And the reason why I say that is this, I have worked with applicants who have applied to 40 plus schools and not gotten in. Some that have applied to 20 plus schools and not gotten in. And the reason that I say eight to 10 programs, there's a few, but one is that the prerequisites and requirements for PA programs is extremely variable. And when you have a very high volume of programs and you're trying to sift through with your Excel sheet, with the requirements for every single one, inevitably, something gets missed. I also think that it's important to apply with intention, meaning instead of sending blanket applications to all these different schools, really focusing on programs that you actually want to attend, resonate with their mission, are invested in, because that comes through in your essays with them, in your interviews with them, and they really know that you are interested in their program for very specific reasons, and you know why you would be an amazing fit for their program specifically. So I always want you to apply with intention and really dig into those programs, not only because I want you to be successful and make sure that you're hitting every single requirement that they have and really setting yourself up to be a competitive applicant for their program, but that you actually have interest in it. And if you get accepted there, you're gonna be super excited about it, right? Um, and so I really feel like a smaller number of programs allows you to do that. <laughs> and not only that, let's talk about the financial cost of applying to 20 plus programs. It's $179 for your first application and $56 for every application after that. And that starts adding up really quickly when you're applying to 20, 30 schools. And not, that doesn't include fees, you know, for supplemental applications or for travel for interviews or seat deposits or anything like that. Not that you should base your program choice on, on financials, but I do think it's really important to consider when going through this process. And I can't stress enough to you that I have had applicants apply to one program and get in. Why? Because they put all their effort and energy towards being the best applicant for that program. And ultimately it shines through in everything that they do and the program knows it and they know it and it's a good fit. Now, obviously you're not going to be the perfect applicant for every single program because they all have different class profiles. They all have different, um, you know, GPA requirements, healthcare hours, you know, all these different things, but you can get pretty dang close <laughs> when you are creating your application and in the process of working towards creating your application. So I always tell people to pick your programs first, then reverse engineer your application because that way you can make sure you're getting all the prerequisites, all the standardized tests, all the essays, everything you need so that when you go to apply to those programs, you are ready and that you've researched them and that you've been to an info session or you've had some kind of interaction with that you know, program. And so you, there's intention behind it. You know that you sort of fit their class profile um, or maybe it's a program that's in your state and local to you and you really wanna serve that community because you've lived there your whole life or even if you live there now and that shines through, maybe their mission is to work with underserved communities and that's yours too. And you're like, this is gonna be, you know, like awesome. This is a program I definitely want to apply to. So my number for, for always, for right now, is <laughs> eight to 10 programs. 
and maximum 15. So I will let clients that I work with apply to 15. It does get hectic um, and it does get a little costly, but that's like where I try to cut people off because I really wanna make sure that you're applying to the right programs, you're not missing anything, and that you can ultimately be successful as an applicant. If you have more questions and you wanna to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can head to my website to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment at michellenesky.com. I also have a free PA school undergraduate prep guide. The link is gonna be down in the, in the comments, so be sure to check that out too. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.